Hey guys, Kev here, and I have five rapid reviews for you today. So, last video I did sort of more premium knives. This one's going to be stuff in the more mid-range. I have one that's very budgety. Uh, I guess I'll kick it off with that one. This one is an absolute just... I had no clue. This is a shocker for me. And this is the Lothar knife. And I call it that because they don't really have names. So I'll link this down below. It'll be an Amazon link. Uh, it's from Lothar Knife. They are a German company. Obviously, the knives are made in China. But they reached out to me, and they asked me to check out a couple of their knives. The first one I checked out was cool, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good for what it is at $38. Um, but it was kind of a knife trying to look premium at a very budget range, which is fine. And they did a pretty good job of that, honestly. Um, but this one, this one surprised the ever-loving shit out of me. This is a $29 knife. I repeat myself, $29. You get what looks like weave carbon fiber. Maybe it's the laminate stuff. I don't care. It's $29. But it looks like the weave stuff. Um, you have a pivot collar. You have a D2 steel blade with a coated with a coating on it to keep it um from rusting we're gonna see how sharp it is yep it's sharp i can basically do s cuts with it um i literally just had oh no one of the knives you're gonna see here can't cut paper out of the box and it's 140 dollars. so 40 dollars. no 30 dollars. take that back 30 dollars. what's the most impressive thing why am i so excited about this knife they nailed the action on this thing. It is dead nut centered. It has a nice flipper tab. The detent just absolutely rockets. I mean, listen to this thing pop. That's like sharp by design detent insanity right there. It feels so good when you deploy it. You can reverse flick it. Get into that hole. It's what she said. And flicker out. Absolutely wonderful. You can kind of... Yeah, you can thumb flick it. Then you can get it over to the left hand. Same awesome um, flick. You can do it that way. Let's try to thumb flick. Can we do it? Can we do the hat trick? Mm. So good. Detent. There it is. Um, slurpee saver grip. I mean, dude, this thing is sweet, okay? It's very flat and thin, so... Not the most comfortable knife in the world, but it has a pretty good uh, feel to it, the way it angles in your hand. You know, you get a really useful blade. It's fun to flip. I swear to God, I've been sitting here all day um, flipping knives, and this has been one of the knives I've picked up so many times. Look at the action on the clothes. It will swing all the way down. I mean, are you kidding me? With this detent? $29. If you are a budget fanatic, go buy one of these and give it a shot because I don't know what to tell you. This is the best $30 knife on the planet right now. So there you go. That's the Lothar knife. Next up, real quick, Urban EDC Baby Barlow NJG10. These dropped today, my time, which is Wednesday the 7th of June. I don't know if they're still available, but they are in stock. They were not a pre-order. I repeat, not a pre-order. You can pick these up. I believe they're $239. Might be $259. I'm not sure. But I absolutely love this knife. I wanted to show it off because it had a new version. This is my OG one. I could not be happier with this knife. Uh, Justin Lundquist absolutely destroyed this design. And uh, Urban EC has done a great job with it. Um, just look at that action. It's so good in titanium. But in this JG10, it weighs literally nothing. This is the best fifth pocket knife on the planet. Um, man, that's two on the planets back to back. Best $30 one, best fifth pocket one. That freaking top flipper is insane. I just love it so much. I can't get enough of it. Um, yeah, beautiful milled clip. JG10 uh, handles with uh, black G10 inlays, M390 blade steel, beautiful top flipper, nice and thinly ground blade. Just, it's such a good knife, guys. Can't say it enough. Link down below to that one. 
Next, we have a couple of OTFs. I kind of battled these before, so let's talk about the A2 Badger from Tecto. Um, they sent this to me, and they were kind enough to set it up for left-hand carry. I appreciate that very much. The action on it is money. It is aluminum casing. You have a glass breaker on the back, and you have a nice switch that really gives you some good traction on it. I really enjoy that. Downside to this knife, the D2 steel is not sharp at all. It came dull out of the box for review. You know, that's unfortunate. Um, but assuming that's a fluke, everything else about it is pretty damn good. There's been some question about, you know, their um, ethics and how they state where things are made. Uh, so far, I haven't found anything that really is an issue. They basically say they assemble these in Maine from U.S. and, and uh, imported parts. So imported and domestic parts. So, you know, maybe some of the parts come from the U.S. And then they, they have to assemble it here because you cannot ship fully functioning automatics from China. So, I, honestly, it doesn't bother me all that much. Um, yeah. So, uh, it is D2, and it is like 140 bucks. That's, you know, a little eh to me, especially because it came dull. Um, but, overall, it's very, very nicely made and functions extremely well. The clip is good. I love this ribbing and everything. And it's a nice small size. It's actually extremely ergonomic, thin in the hand. I enjoy it quite a bit. That is the Tecto A2 Badger. Next up is the Taccom. I believe this is called the Chubby. I think it's the Stubby now. And I was calling it the Chubby. <laughs> I think it's the Stubby. Oh, crap. I got to go correct something. Um, and, yeah, I really like this. I just think it's a little thick. Um, but, hey, that's why I think I was calling it the Chubby. Oh, boy, Kev. And this has a very... Um, Baby Barlow Blade to me, uh, which is very cool. Uh, just a nice coincidence there. I love this knife. The action on it is fantastic. This is a TACCOM and Best Tech sort of collaboration, which is cool. Has 3K carbon fiber inlays, which is nice. I guess we could compare. Now, those are contoured, so um, it gives it a very cool look. But, yeah, this could be the laminate. Um, nice clip. It's got a little bit of a sharp area up here, and it is a tapper, but man, the action on this thing is smooth as butter. It is, oops, it is very sharp. Oops, sorry. So, no problems there. Comes in 154 cm. It's $190, which I think is fair. You know, um, you got to think about what they're being charged and then, you know, they have to do labor putting it together and everything. And then, you know, you put all that together, 190 bucks for 154 CM. I don't really think that's bad. Yes, you can get 20 CV OTFs made in the U.S. for like 250 probably. Um, so, you know, your call on that. But um, regardless of where it's from, it's very nicely made. Materials are good. And more importantly... The action is phenomenal. It just doesn't have any feel of wiggle, spring jump, or anything like that. It has a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, I really like this knife. This is the TACCOM. <laughs> Pretty sure the stubby. And last but absolutely not least, we have the Crispy Donut Community. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> um, the Chicago from... Crispy Donut Community, really love those guys, and I just dig this knife. I don't know what it is about it, but Slurpee saving grip is money. This long, elongated sort of leaf-shaped blade is nice. Um, it's got a softer detent for the flipper tab, but it works. Um, you know, I had one in recently, a Kaiser, that just, you know, it was similar, but it just didn't work. This works really well. Like, it just wants to deploy and then the thumb studs are on freaking point. Um, I love this thing. I think it's very cool. It's up on pre-order right now. You can check the link down below. Use the uh, password early bird to get in. And you can get this for $15 off. So it'll be $135. It's an S35 BN steel titanium frame lock with a um, donut themed show side. I believe they'll have less uh, showy versions once they come in. 
But um, Drew and Luke, awesome dudes. Really appreciate them supporting the channel. And, uh, yeah, just really cool dudes. So I enjoy the Chicago very, very much. So there you go. That's the Crispy Donut Community Chicago, the Lothar Knives, Warning, I guess, the Urban EDC Jade G10 Baby Barlow, the TACCOM slash Best Tech Stubby Chubby, and the A2 Badger from Tech Toe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Which one would you choose if you could only choose one? Best $30 knife ever. Best fifth pocket knife ever. Best sprinkle knife ever. ever. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Best sprinkle knife ever. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Uh, I truly appreciate all of you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.